to my neighbor's house and I ended up hurting my knees really bad and having to go to the doctors. I want to walk you guys through everything that happened that day. So let's start in the morning when I woke up to a phone call from Matt saying the ATV had fallen off the truck. The ATV is falling off the... Yeah, I even, I strapped the ramps down and everything and they just went boom. Oh, you were trying to drive from here into the yeah, bed, well, and as it was driving, it just slid the ramps. Up, it just, boom! But I had it, I had it strapped and everything. It's never done that. So luckily, nothing, nothing bad has happened yet. But we need to somehow like lift the ATV and drive it the rest of the way into the truck bed. What are we looking at? Oh uh, yeah, right inside there. Did you get the pieces? Yeah, go nice and easy. Okay, that's a better spot. So the solution is we made another ramp that wedges into this ramp and hopefully we can ramp into there. Let's see what happens. Okay. Almost. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Alright? <laughs> oh my god. Bro. <laughs> Good thing I was rolling, that was ridiculous. <laughs> Somebody was committed to getting that ATV. <laughs> and I'm trying to go bog that tomorrow, bro. Yeah. It's like, we yeah, need this. This one got penetrated by the, the thing right in your yeah, chest. Yeah, seriously. Oh. Push-ups are coming in yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> she said, oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad we're alive. After we loaded up the ATV, we were ready to go to the famous Busco Beach to film the last to stop riding video on my main channel. We're about to have an incredible day. This is the lineup of vehicles that we are driving. Look at all this, guys. So much stuff. We got jet skis and mini jeeps and ATVs and side-by-sides, dirt bikes and cars. We're going to no other place but the world famous Busco Beach where you can literally do everything with all these vehicles, including mini boats. So Andrew just got a brand new car. We're sitting in it right now. This thing is so cool. And the best part is it's literally got a TV screen built in right here and we can watch YouTube. So I can watch my video while we're driving. <laughs> it's so crazy. There's the helicopter video. And you might think it's dangerous because Andrew would be watching when he's driving, but that's not how it works. If you go over, it goes completely black. You can't see it because it's got blinders. That means only I can see it. Andrew can hear it, but I'm watching my YouTube video right now. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my gosh, <laughs> browsing YouTube. We haven't even started filming the last stop riding video, but I'm hearing the UFOs and cool. There's no way. Comment down below if you guys can see him in the sky. Oh, oh, I thought I saw him. Oh. There it is. Yes, oh, yeah. UFO captured it on camera, finally. There's another one. You see another one? Right behind it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, disappearing. That's some Bob Lazar stuff right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So noisy. You guys, yeah, I can't believe these airplanes are flying around. It's the craziest thing. We drive like out here to the middle of nowhere and then sure enough, they're still above our heads. They follow us around. I think the government is spying on Team Rar. Filming was great. If you guys haven't seen the video, go check it out. Link is in the description and as an end card on this video. But on the way home from filming, I saw this super scary thing on the highway. So I'm driving down the highway and there is a ton of traffic. I think an accident might have just happened in front of me. Um, we're slowly moving bumper to bumper. There's a cop that just drove right by me and then a tow truck. And I feel like I hear out in the distance more sirens, so I have no idea what's going on up here. But uh, it seems pretty serious. I hope everybody's okay, but uh, I'm kind of expecting some kind of accident major enough to cause this much traffic. So keep my head on a swivel. I'm trying to stay safe. Out here in maybe less than a mile. Oh, I see something up ahead. You can see all the way over there. There's some flashing lights. I see a cop car and a fire truck. Okay. There's at least one cop car, one fire truck, and one tow truck. That's what I've seen so far. I'm a little bit nervous. So there's another fire truck literally sitting in my lane. Oh, I can start to see some car in the ditch there. We are getting close. Oh wow. There is a lot going on here. Looks like they are pulling the tr oh, he's on the guardrail. How did that happen? Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm not exactly sure what I saw, but that car is somehow hung up on the guardrail. I don't know if he was going this way or the other way, but it is causing traffic build up on both sides of the highway. But it only seems like it was one car. 
it didn't look like the car was so smashed. It doesn't look like whoever was driving maybe was seriously injured, which is great. I am so curious of exactly what could have possibly happened for a car to end up exactly where it was. I think the driver was probably okay based on the condition of the car. Comment down below guys, how did he end up stuck in the middle of the highway on top of the guardrail? It's weird. And look at all the traffic on this side. Oh my goodness. It is blocked up for miles. That is horrible. During rush hour. Later that night, I decided to head to my neighbor's house to ride some dirt bikes. And this is where things went bad. We got Matt on the pit bike. He's going for this big jump. And we got the flamethrower right here that we're sparking up. I'm probably gonna stand maybe a little bit out of the way. The flame coming out of this thing is so hot. It's not like the one that Elon Musk made that we have. This thing is like real. It's just mini. <laughs> there goes Matt. Perfect. What are we getting into here? Just a little, little flamethrower action. <laughs> oh my gosh. The ground is on fire. What? Oh my goodness. The ground is literally on fire. Oh. That is so wild. It's amazing how hot that is. Torched. <laughs> That's how we torch it. Literally torched. <laughs> it's still on fire. Oh my gosh. That is so trippy looking. Look at that. I'm not even sure what's burning. Is it gas or is it some of the plants? I think the weeds are actually on fire now. I think it's still some of the gas on the ground. Yeah, because it kept relighting some of the Yeah. It doesn't really like atomize it too much. It really doesn't. Oh, look at that. It relights. That's so wild. Yeah. The vapors are coming through the uh I think we just gotta let it burn. What is happening? This is so weird. Oh, it's out. Oh. Alright. Got some trippy stuff. I don't want it to travel, but I think it's just burning the gas. end up recording my crash on camera but when I went down I went down hard luckily this crash wasn't as bad as the one when I was younger when I had to get helicopter lifted to a special hospital and get two surgeries when I broke my arm this time I landed on my knees and they got really cut up ripped my jeans and super bruised I decided to go to the doctor the next day to make sure everything was okay they said everything looks good and I should be okay but to not ride dirt bikes for a while let them heal and keep it easy what's up Carter's life here's an injury update so let me bring you back I started riding pit bikes at my friend's house down the road last week and since then I've been getting better and better and on the last time I was out there riding I was getting really good and almost ran the whole track I was jumping some of the biggest jumps it was super fun and uh, then I had a little accident didn't catch it on camera but um, I ripped my jeans bruised my knees pretty bad and it's been almost one week since then and I'm gonna give you a little uh, update of how that's looking. So here are <laughs> the current state of my knees. As you can see, they look like a rainbow. The bruising is pretty intense. My knees are uh, less swollen. I have some scabbing. This side is also very bruised. They're still a little bit sore but really doing quite a bit better. And that is the update. I'm not gonna stop riding. I'm gonna get back out there in a couple days and keep pit biking, but I'm definitely gonna be bringing knee pads. So if I crash, this is all preventable. I did have a helmet on, luckily that was all fine. I'm gonna add knee pads. I might add some gloves and elbow pads as well. <laughs> 